Welcome to Anakin Sailing the Mediterranean, Episode 3. We leave Croatia and sail south to Montenegro with our buddy boat, Split Ends. We enter the Gulf of Kotor and sail past what some people call the Church in the Sea and St George Monastery. The further into this gulf we sailed, the more we were amazed at the mountains stretching up from the sea, the medieval villages on the shoreline and the beautiful calm waters we were in. anchored just across from Kotor City and decided we would make the walk up the stairs to the fort of Kotor. We started in the old town, working our way up to the very start of the stairway up to the fort. We started the climb early in the morning, before the sunlight got directly onto us, so we avoided the heat of the day. up we climbed, the better the views became. We could watch a cruise ship coming into the Gulf. It was step after step to go up to the top, a whole 1,355 of them. This is awesome. Oh, it's worth all the sweat. Almost. And here would be Anakam and Split End anchored across the bay. Yeah, have yeah. a good time. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's up there, Steve? Uh, more rocks. More rocks? Yep. A nice view from up there. Yeah. It's a smart one. next day we said see you later to the Gulf of Kotor. We head out past 
the village of Parast, which is just behind the church in the sea and the monastery on little two little islands. the mountains running down to the sea which is nothing short of spectacular. out of the gulf. Just a couple of naval ships moored over there, not that far from one of the Second World War submarine bunkers. We were quite impressed at how people would spend the time to restore these beautiful old ships and to keep them going right to this day. Spectacular mountains in the background run all the way down the Croatian coast, all the way down through this part of the world and beyond. One of the Costa Line cruise ships enters the Gulf of Kotor as we are leaving to head down the Adriatic Sea. Anchor for the night in Sutomorsky Bay, just short of the town of Bar, with split ends, getting ready to clear out of Montenegro. This would be the last time we would sail with split ends, as they would return to Croatia, we headed south to Greece. our longest passage to date, 180 nautical miles from Bar to Corfu. South from Corfu to Antipaxoi. Antipaxoi to Scorpius Island. Scorpius Island was once owned by Aristotle Onassis. And from Scorpius Island, we sailed around to Tranquil Bay at Nidri. Even though it was a little crowded in here, Tranquil Bay was the perfect place to rest up for a while. Nidri is a real mecca for the tourists, as another ferry load of tourists come across from the mainland. Very busy, busy place. Watching all the motor scooters crossing the road just to get to one of the many harbourside restaurants in this part of the world. away from Nidri, down to Ithaki. 
the quirky things we noticed about cruising in Greece was we had to have our cruising log filled out and stamped by the port captain for every island and every port that we went to. Some wanted payment, some didn't. It was like we were sailing to a different country for every port and every island that we went to. sailed from Ithaca around to Scatoria Bay. up with Anne and Peter. They eventually sailed with us on Anakan through the Corinth Canal. We're in Greece, but actually rather than me tell you anything, Anne can tell you. Where are we Anne? The actual name is that we're on the island of Vasti at in the bay of... Um, fundamentalism. It's a very nice place where it's awfully clear. Agatha Christie. Something like Agatha. It's walking on. It's walking on. Where's this one? Something. Agatha something. Yeah. That one is Parvo. That one is... What's Campbell's close name? Of course, Annika. That's Campbell. Ithaca to Messalongi. Messalongi was the place where we caught up with Jana again. It was that flat, you could have sworn we were back in the Wimra Plains, complete with gum trees on the headland. to Trazonia Island under the Rion and Tyrion Bridge. Sailing vessel Anacam requesting permission to pass under the bridge. We are eastbound, travelling from the west. We have an air draft of 23 metres. Over. Air draft is not there. You must proceed from the south navigation channel of the bridge. Keeping three pillars on your left, one on your right. Three towers on your left, one on your right. Over. Wilco, this is Anakam clear. Sir, one mile before the bridge collapse back to give you the final permission to pass. Roger that Rion traffic. Anakam out. Passing under the Rion Anterion Bridge is one of the few traffic controlled areas where you must seek permission before you enter. This would happen to be at the time, the largest cable stayed bridge on planet Earth. Amazing structure. What I found more amazing was that not one single life was lost in the building of this bridge. Look at this, Annie. We're just gonna scrape through. We haven't got a lot of clearance. Wow. No. Not a lot. In a cute little bay on Trazonia Island, right in the top of the Gulf of Corinth. few days anchored here, dodging some windy weather before we set off again. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 Took a 
stroll around the island to see the sights. There was this cute little church. Another little harbour on the other side of the island. And a couple of resident geese that got a little bit irritated with me when I got too close. We sailed from Trezonia around to Gallic City, where we took a tour to the ancient city of Delphi, where the ruins of the Temple of Apollo are located. The ancient Greeks believed this was the center of the known universe. It was very surreal for us to be walking around this UNESCO heritage site that the, they tell us dates back over 1,300 years BC. One thing you have to give to the Greeks is the way that they preserve their heritage, their history is absolutely incredible. recommend to anybody following in our footsteps take the time out and get up to Delphi and just have a look at how well preserved and how well presented this piece of history really is later Delphi as we sail from Gallic City to Corinthos as we transit the Corinth Canal. We were absolutely blown away as we entered the Leeds and the Channel into the Corinth Canal. We were told to follow a cargo ship through that was being pulled by a tugboat. The roads at this end of the canal sinks down to the floor of the canal so you actually go over the roadway. You need to know that most of this canal was dug by hand by 60,000 Jewish slaves under Roman rule. Following the cargo ship, and in turn behind us, was another Bavaria 46 being delivered by a delivery skipper, and behind them was the yacht Janna. Having a hard time keeping our steerage as the cargo ship in front was being pulled by the tugboat was creating a lot of turbulence and we were getting pushed all over the place. Keeping ourselves off the wall was a task in itself. Looks like black boys. Let's try the soon. Yeah, I've <laughs> got the gum trees happening. Footholds used by the slaves to get themselves out of the canal. Oh my god! Oh. Ooh, I think we found another sewage outlet. <laughs>
All this was built so the Romans could get their warships to the other side of Greece faster than sailing around past the Peloponnese. First signs of sun up as the rays of sunshine were lighting up the top of one of the canal walls. how much anti-foul paint has been scraped off by ships touching the side of the canal. Bridges and more bridges. The canal gets crossed either over or under no less than six times. cross over the last of the sinking roads and take a berth on the dock to pay our transit fees. I think that big one is being... We all loved our time in Greece. Keep watching this amazing journey as we continue. <laughs>